out of you guys. I need a break from all that shit. Just about to pull up my hair. Seriously. I'm gonna eat the uh, this little sandwich here. It's dark in here. What the heck? Seriously, I really need a break. Otherwise, I feel like I'm gonna. It's not gonna be good. Like I try really, really freaking hard, and I just can't find the right answers. And oh my god. suspected the blood of a second party belonged to John Fuget, but they couldn't prove it without a sample of his DNA. Fuget's fingerprints were all over the crime scene, but that didn't implicate him either since he had lived in the same house. However, there was one solid lead to pursue. An eyewitness report has seen Fuget driving Erica's 1992 Honda a short time after she had died. a second expedition to Nicumaroro. Searchers found several intriguing artifacts, which Gillespie claims are indisputable proof that Amelia Earhart and Fred Newman died on the island while awaiting rescue. On March 16, 1992, Gillespie presented his findings at a press conference in Washington, D.C. For you are artifacts which, along with recently discovered historical documents, conclusively solve the disappearance of Amelia Earhart. I wouldn't. Well, let's do the polygraph test anyway, to be sure. Right. What's he doing now? What's this? God. God. No, 
vertically. Not vertically. I'll be right back. me like crazy i bet my granny would love me like that too yeah her aunt or your aunt is what's her name again lynn, lynn. my dad's okay. sister yeah and she loves you like crazy mm -hmm. oh, that's good she's the one she's that good. i went with for the whiskey river she's that oh, cute so one that little cute one yeah good and i was like teasing cool. her a couple of times if your mom and you were, if she was still around you, you know, and you would come yeah, over at my yeah. dad's and you, Let's see. yeah, okay. like you got to take a shower too. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. We'll go take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> I, I actually don't know anything about the room assignments. I just, you know, I, I'm here. And uh, I just would have hoped that you would refrain from taking advice from other patients. Well, it's not advice. It's just the truth. Okay. Um, well, this will all be in your paperwork, but I want to highlight, I, I made an appointment for you. Um, it's going to be um, in this um, saving file. Okay. That it's for school, so I'm going to save it along with my videos so you can see what it's about. So, I'm just giving you a heads up in case you get confused. So, I'll throw in daily videos here, and it's like pictures of stuff with music in the background and everything. So, alright, so. This fucking thing, come on! Huh? We can't go, dude. Sorry. Holy crap. What happened? You got pink eye. Are you giving each other butterfly kisses or something? Ha ha ha. Very funny. That's not how you get pink eye. You get it from poo particles making their way into your ocular cavities. Hey, Ben. Yo. How's it going? Um, I farted on Jason's pillow as a practical joke. He farted on Jonah's thinking it was mine and then eventually pink eyed my pillow. Um, not proud of any of this, but I think we've all forgotten forgiving each other um but we can't go anywhere we can get pink eye from farting in a pillow when you graduate i don't need you in a foam haze with me right now all right my mind is clear i'm focused on my birthday <laughs> well good because i need to know where you want to go for your birthday dinner anywhere you want how about michael's well that's easy <laughs> done <laughs> oh this this house is going to feel so empty without you. I mean, especially when I'm not around to referee when you and Dad start arguing. Hey, I don't want you to feel like you're in the middle. You know we both love you. Maybe once I'm out of the house, it'll give you and Dad a chance to work on things. Yeah.
am. I thought you were staying at Madison's a little bit later. Um, I texted you. I was coming home, but I guess you were busy. Um, this is my daughter, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Bradley Collins. Nice to meet you. Your mom has told me so much about you. Hi. Well, uh... Holy hell, am I feeling tired right now. It's tempting to go to sleep right now, guys. I feel like I'm drugged up or something. I'm like so freaking tired. <sighs> But my goal is to finish up this worksheet and everything, you know. I wanted to go to the restaurant, the cafe place and get myself some chicken dumpling soup. But then I'm like, uh, because I just didn't feel like walking around in the rain earlier. And it was raining. See that? It was raining earlier today and I was like Ugh. so that's the sunset over there so and what I gotta do here sorry about my movie being loud mom oh, well. I'll show it to you real quick I'll show you what I did and didn't do yet. Oh my god, Mom. Well, it's okay, baby. It's over. I gotta do these three, these two right there and answer these five questions. Then I'll take my shower. So, yeah. <sighs> man, oh man, oh man, do I feel tired, guys. Sorry if I bore you, alright? It's just like she didn't really die. I get the call from my father, and then what, like two days later, you come by? She just carried straight on. Susie, I don't understand. I've been getting messages from your grandmother for a week. No, that can't be. She just...
All right, I'm gonna take my shower and, oh, excuse me, I'm gonna take my shower and get going to bed here. Oh, I see a little orange-ish right there, a little pink and orange. Huh. I worried about all the men in my care. A lot of them were my age, and some weren't going to make it. This will help you sleep. For some reason, I was especially drawn to one young private, Kevin Yablonski. I wasn't sure why at the time. So, do you have a date tonight? I did, but Captain Bonifield extended my shift. No. 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 Watch out! Alrighty, I'm gonna go in now. Oh, that's the chocolate. This right here is it. Yeah, I did it, did it, did it. So it won't be long until I get out, so. Great. Oh yeah, I do look tired. Holy crap. <sighs> so yeah, I'm definitely gonna get going to bed here, like dry off. Um, I'll wear um underwear but the bottom piece, you know, like that covers my buttocks. You know what I mean? <sighs> so yeah. Sorry if I bore you the rest of the night here, guys. Alrighty. Gotta find out when I got my last haircut. So. Drying out my ears with a Q-tip, guys. <sighs> so, I'm gonna take my medication now. Didn't I get that to get? Y'all get hurry. Ooh, ha ha. <clears throat> yeah. And good night, Mom. No scaring me. Hug and kiss the kitty. My little pet meister. I don't care if she's turning 30. She's always going to be a little baby to me. Always, always, always. And always. Oh, 71. <laughs> I-24. G-60. G-58. And 42. B8. O68. Round over.
Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> really? <laughs> Dripsy Rose's ex-husband files a restraining order on her. <laughs> she was so upset. She wanted to get away. What was the mess? I told y'all for a swan. She was just... Sword, four of swords. I'm, I said swans, Lord. <laughs> she was tired. She's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just tired. I can't trust nobody. Ace of swords. Hmm. Reverse. It really messed their relationship up. Will of fortune. Reverse. Bad timing. Like, why would you do that? Not now, Suzette. I wasn't ready. Look at that page of cups. Hmm. See how that baby keep coming up? Knight of Cups. That broke her heart. She really thought she could trust her sister. Rest in the tent while we fix our dinner. He nodded and smiled at me. I turned around and started walking ahead. Suddenly, the ground beneath us shook a little, and some rocks fell from above. Rob looked at us, terror evident in his eyes. William was quick. He held my hand and led me out of the cave as quickly as he could. The tiredness had vanished from his body instantly. We had to make sure we were not stepping on any loose rocks and also missing the rocks falling from above. I was worried for Rob, but William assured me that he would go back in for Rob. As soon as I was out, safe, William turned around and ran back inside for Rob. A couple of minutes later, I saw both of them making their way outside. Although the mild earthquake had stopped, rocks were still falling from the ceiling of the cave. I yelled.